Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I want to talk about muscles that attach to the scapula and allow the scapula to move. So firstly, how can the scapula move? Well, it can elevate, it can depress, it can protract, which means move forward, but the rib cage is in the road, so it has to move like this. It can retract, which is like bracing those shoulders back. It can laterally rotate, which means open up that glenohumeral joint, and it can medially rotate. So let's look at these muscles. First, let's look at the muscles for elevation. So we're going to have a muscle that has its insertion here called levata scapulae. Levata scapulae has its insertion at the medial border of the scapula and its origins at the cervical vertebrae. When it contracts, elevates. Also, the traps. The traps you'll find have their insertion along the spine of the scapula, and there's going to be upper fibers, horizontal fibers and lower fibers. So the upper fibers are going to be important. So upper fibers of traps and levator scapulae for elevation. For depression, it's going to be the lower fibers of the traps and something called the serratus anterior, which is what we call the boxer's muscle. So it's on the ventral surface of the medial border of the scap. So it sits underneath here and the fibers actually go under the scap and move around the ribs and go and attach to the first eight or nine ribs and that plays a role in depression and also pec minor which has its insertion at the coracoid here and attaches to ribs three to five under here to ribs three or five play a role in depression for protraction it's going to be the serratus anterior that boxes muscle because it moves around that rib cage when contracts for retraction it's going to be the rhomboids so rhomboids are going to be rhomboid minor here and rhomboid major here and they attach to the spinous processes of the vertebrae pretty much immediately medial to where they are. For lateral rotation we're going to have the upper fibers of the traps and the serratus anterior and for medial rotation we're going to have the rhomboids again and also pec minor. 